at this place. Look at this place. Okay. Well, Christian, I'm so uh, excited to see some of the stuff. Can we start over near the dinosaurs? Sure, absolutely. Right I mean, on. I think that's a great place to start, actually. Well, everybody's love affair with dinosaurs. Well, is, yeah, uh, that, I mean, even as a kid, I mean, uh, just like any kid, you know, you're, you're fascinated with dinosaurs. You have absolutely. the books, you have, you know, the little toys, you've got everything. But what's, what's great about the dinosaurs, too, for me, right. is that it's not... It's not a costume. It's not a typical costume build, right. which which I love and we do mostly of. But uh, I'm it's just happy to have something a little different, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I take these to Monster Palooza with me as well. I think they're just a um, a great setting for the booth and or the may, museum part of it. May people, I touch people this? People really enjoy it. Yeah. Absolutely. That's all urethane, urethane cast. Beautiful. And this so, is mechanical or animatronic, am I it's right? It's animatronic, yeah. yeah. Eyes blank, eye movement. Um, yeah. We have some of the, uh, some snorting, you know, the kind of uh, yeah. sinus stuff that comes out. Right, you know. right. It's kind of fun. I love it. A lot of fun. And also I see uh, what I believe is practical sculpture as well as, uh, so this started as a digital presentation and then it moved did you sculpt clay on top of this? How did that go? Yeah, absolutely. So they are Jurassic World IP. So we did get the IP for that. We got um, all the 3D models for it. Right. So, yeah, of course, we're trying to match that, you know. So uh, what we did was for the head uh, and for the horns, they were all, um, they were 3D printed in sections of the, the, the base foundation for everything so we can get all the primary shapes and the sizes and proportion. Right. And then we were able to reinforce all those pieces and then we can sculpt over them with clay. And we, we did that. Well, I can see the incredible detail here. It's just fantastic. I don't know who your sculptor was, but my, or sculptors, but they did a great job. Look at this one here. Well, we try to get as much detail. We try to, we're trying to, we're doing a, a show that's at a live arena walk around show. Right. But we're trying to apply as much detail and yes. movie quality as we can. Of course. You know, to that as well. So, well, how exciting. How exciting. Yeah, it is. It was a lot of fun. And also, it speaks of variety. Uh, can we get a shot over here? Here is sure. some stuff as well. This is wild, this display. My yeah. gosh. So this is kind of my ode to Sucker Punch. It was, you know, right. it was a film we worked on years ago where we did many orc makeups, masks, etc. Right. We also did a lot of like steampunk um, Nazi type uh, characters as well. Frightening. Yeah. 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 And this is actually um, this is actually something that was uh, intended for the film, but I think it, uh, for whatever reason, was, they were cut. So we ended right. up... You know, making something to, similar to that. That happens a lot, doesn't it? We make something and we put our heart and soul yes. into it, knowing that it might get a close-up. Yep. So we got to be ready. Yep. But we never know if it's going to be uh, utilized or not. It's, right. You never know with the script changes and et cetera, what's going to happen. So, you know, you just got to yeah. just understand that, you know, right. that, that it was fun making some stuff and it just never, yeah. got, never saw the light of day. Right? Yeah, that's you know? for sure. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, I, I know this is the fabrication area. Yeah. And uh, once again, I understand and I know that this is an interesting place, everybody, because this is kind of where these specialty costumes, tell me if you agree, they're really brought together and fabricated into something that's functional. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look over here real quick, if you think we... we well, yeah, obviously, you know, when you have, um, you know... Anything that you build, you have to have a base for it. Whether it's it's you know um, it's you know whether the fabrication part is the hero right. part of the suit, right. build of the suit, you're going to have at minimum you're going right. to have a base you know right. to to pull the, the hard elements together. So you're, certainly, no matter what, you need a good fabrication team and a good fabrication right. department. And when this is really happening, you have uh, seamstresses, you have people that have all kinds of skills, whether it be enclosures, snaps, zippers. But it's more than that. It mm -hmm. really is assembly of so many different types of pieces from practical mm -hmm. to uh, generated and grown. Yeah. I mean, listen, uh, you know, this day and age of costume building, the designs are more or less a, um, 
a three-dimensional printed type fabrics right. or or your building dimension with fabrication right and then you're adding some sculpted uh, harder elements Certainly. you know on top so yeah. i mean it's it's different you know this day so, so you definitely need um a crack cool cool crew of fabricators <laughs> on these things of can do it's, not just, it's yeah. not just patterning and all that it's it's yeah. it's it's dimensional build up with fabrics and, yes. and foam yes. and so forth too so there's just a yes. lot involved these days you know i just want to get a shot of this please please join me fellas i i'm so amazed uh, of course there's all the machines and things that are so necessary it's it's funny when i look at something like this christian mm -hmm. just this area just this alone you see all different kinds of fur you see all different kinds of futuristic materials and different textures all this kind of stuff it's just uh it's the elements of style Mm -hmm. for creating costume this speaks of potential mm -hmm. i know this sounds strange but it's like a box of clay sitting in a room it hasn't become anything yet it's all potential absolutely and yeah. so when i look here uh, once again i see uh, the elements with which to create and uh, once again you have so many sewing machines here i can see that this is a place where you can do a high volume of work as well absolutely. and have done so yep absolutely so. i mean we have a lot of materials and such on hand yes uh, but of course each each job each project is different and will have its different challenges of materials yes uh, but uh, it's nice to have a certain amount on hand for uh, r&d purposes um, and or just kind of uh, showing the possibilities you know mm -hmm. when you have meetings with the uh, designers yeah. and whatnot so great yeah please take us on out to the next area yeah okay let's go ahead and uh well, I think that the next area should be Ah, look at these bears. Look at these guys. I just love the attitude. Well, excuse me for stopping here, but I love this big tummy. Uh, as a person with a big tummy, <laughs> I just love the attitude of this suit, the body language. He seems to be leading with his hips. Mm. You'll notice sometimes people lead with their foreheads yeah. like this or sometimes they lead with their feet out in front of them. The attitude of this body is just wonderful. What was this for, may I ask? So we actually have a third bear. So we, had, we did three bear suits for, right. um, for a progressive commercial. Uh, it was called Floaty Locks and the Three Bears. So, okay. <laughs> and these are all bear suits. So these two were um, produced here with a third one. The third one was actually my suit. So uh, right. two of the guys that helped fabricate these suits were actually in the bear suits with me in the commercial. Oh, so it was great. a lot of fun. They're, they, are, they were built very quickly. Um, I think what we did was we had, we had to utilize a lot of NFT that we had I see and it wasn't enough to do three bear suits so we strategically put NFT where we uh, thought it would look the best and then we ended up using a fun fur that was yeah, it was uh, modeled and painted and so I forth see. just I see. to, uh, to no. get them done because we didn't yeah. we had probably I don't I hate to say this but we had maybe a week week and a half to build three bear suits from scratch Good and to, just to try to order yeah, 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 order yeah. NFT I wouldn't have, we couldn't have got that fast enough and then fabricated so we had to take what we had in house like you sure. saw in the uh, and the whole rack over there with <laughs> different right. materials. Right. Yeah, this is where it comes in handy on a commercial. So, yeah. so uh, three bear suits in probably a week, week and a half, and uh, they're fully fabricated. And uh, they're not animatronic, but they actually move very well. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have so much built into the character of the body. Uh, it's just gorgeous. And look at this character as well. Mm -hmm. Is this the male and the female? Is that how this is? This, is this female? Or are yeah, both? actually, I mean, I think ultimately this was the mom, this was the baby. I and see. And I would have been the dad. I got you. My suit's not you. out here right now. Though. Okay. <laughs> well, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. This yeah. one's a, a, a oh this gosh. one here was a, yeah, let me the Predator it. was actually a, a unique build because on this one, we were actually asked to actually build the costume over the actual Predator suit, uh, the actual creature suit. Yes. And, uh, and that was an interesting process because um, typically, yeah, if, this would be a better, better job if we could have the full creature suit done, you know, on a performer, and then we right. can take measurements and scan and, and do all that. Sure. Stuff. But we didn't have that option because a lot of the creature suit was actually in in you know in sculpting phases, right. not you know right. going to mold. So this process was a lot of back and forth uh, with the other company and actually scanning sculpts uh, and just 
hoping yeah. that you, you know, you make the stuff fit. It was, it was, yeah. it was crazy. It was crazy build, but ultimately it worked out really well. And I thought it, I thought this stuff looked great. I think, it's you know, good. last yeah. minute, you know, like we were yeah. talking about earlier that not everything makes the screen. Well, we did actually uh, do emissary uh, costumes for emissary predators and that whole thing was cut. We did a lot more work than what is actually right. shown on the screen. Sure. And then to that point, I think there was a lot of last minute changes for the legs. They went back and forth for mm -hmm. months about uh, what the leg armor will look like. And right. uh, ultimately they did some changes to the legs. We did at the last minute, but the rest of it is well, it's just what you see in the film. Magnificent. And it's so wonderful because this is one of those beloved uh, franchises. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's in our psyche and it's in our mythology.